Never try to attempt an experiment without an adult supervision. We use switches on a daily basis. Do you think that you can make a switch on your own at your home? Yes, you can. Today we will learn how to make a very simple electric switch using erasers, aluminium foil and ruler. Materials needed for this experiment are aluminium foil, three erasers, rubber bands, paper pins, a bulb, a ruler, a double sided cello tape, wires, batteries, glue and scissor. Let us first try to understand the purpose of a switch in an electric circuit. So here we can see the circuit diagram where we have a battery, a switch and a bulb. So battery, the battery holder we had already created before so we used the same battery holder which is connected to the bulb and the bulb and the other end of the battery holder is connected to a switch. So in this activity we are going to learn how to make this switch. Now how the circuit works is right now the switch is off. Now when the switch is off current the circuit is not completed. So current cannot flow through this part. As a result the bulb doesn't glow. So the same thing happens here you see here the circuit is broken because of which current can't flow and the bulb doesn't glow. Now what happens when we switch on the circuit? The moment we switch on the circuit so here this is how we switch it on. So the moment we switch it on, what happens? Path gets completed. So the current can flow through this path and as a result the bulb glows. So we will now learn how exactly have we created this switch. So we will start with wrapping these erasers. So that's going to be our first activity. So what we will do is we will take a strip of aluminium foil and then we will wrap the erasers with the foil. And now what we do is for one eraser we wrap it completely with the aluminium foil. Maybe something like this. So you completely wrap it with the aluminium foil. In fact, this is the one which is going to act as the switch. So this is done. So that is one eraser. What about the other two? So for these two erasers also, we will take out two strips of aluminium like this and then we will stick them on the eraser. Just see how do we stick them. Now, do you know why did we make use of this aluminium foil? That's because aluminium is a good conductor of electricity. So when we wrap this eraser with this foil and we make all the connections through this foil, so what happens? It allows current to pass through it. Now just see how am I wrapping it. So this time we are not wrapping it completely but we are wrapping it sideways. So this is done. So, in a, so we leave it for some time so that it can dry. So in a similar way we will do it for the other eraser as well. Now it is not necessary that you have to take aluminium foil only. If you want you can try out with maybe some other foil which is again a good conductor of course. So this is again done. So now we have all the three erasers ready where one is totally wrapped and the other two they are just wrapped with foils on the sideways. Now make sure that they are allowed to dry completely. Completely. So once this is ready, what we need is a stable platform. So for that, we will make use of a ruler. So when you look at this ruler, very clearly you can see that there are two different edges. So when you look at its bottom edge, it is straight, it is flat and smooth. But when you look at its upper edge, it is not flat and smooth, you know, it's, it's curvy. So that is why we will reverse the ruler. So when we reverse the ruler, what happens? The flat surface, that is the smooth surface comes on the top and we want that surface to be there. What we need to do is we will have to fix these two erasers, the ones which were sideways wrapped with aluminium foil. So we will fix these two erasers on the ruler. So for that, we will make use of this double side sided cello tape. So you take a piece of a double sided cello tape, put it on this and then you stick it on the eraser in such a way from this side. So when you look at it from this side, tape should not be visible. That's important. So the tape should not be visible on this side. So this is fixed on the ruler but we want to make it even more stable. So for that we will make use of this rubber band and we will tie it. So once we do this what happens is we it gets an additional stability. So the eraser is now totally fixed on this ruler. So in a similar way we will fix the other eraser as well. Now here one catches this eraser has to be fixed in such a way that this key 
exactly fits between the two. So this case should tightly fit between these two erasers, right? So for that, first let's take again a double-sided cello tape. So we will stick it to this eraser. And now, before we fix its position, what we will do is we will place this switch, maybe like this or like this, whichever way you want. And then you press this tightly and make sure that you have placed it tightly in such a way that the switch is like totally stuck between these two erasers. So now we have placed these two and our switch is almost ready. Just that we need to make the connections. So how do we make the connection? So we need two wires, one from this end and another from this end. So let us take these two wires. Now make sure whenever you make use of these wires that you strip the plastic covering of the wires so that the metallic part is completely visible. We will also make use of a paper pin here because otherwise how will you fix this wire to the eraser? It will be difficult, right? So we will make use of this paper pin. And why again this pin? Because this, this being metallic is again a very good conductor of electricity. So it will allow the current to pass through it. Now make sure that when you tie this wire to the pin, you make multiple rounds of this metallic wire till it is completely tight. So once you have made multiple rounds, it appears to be tight. So in a similar way, we will do it for another wire like this. So now these wires on one end, they have the pins and on the other end, they have the connectors. So what we'll do, we'll connect these wires on the two ends. Now make sure that you insert them on the aluminium foil. That's because aluminium foil is the good conductor. So you have to put it on the aluminium foil. So in a similar way here also, you will put it on the aluminium foil. Now one more thing, the way we have have stabilized it using a rubber band we can do the same thing for this eraser as well so if you want if you think that it is not very stable you can put a rubber band on this one as well so it's very stable now connect the wires and now we can say that our switch is ready so you switch it on you switch it off so let us now test the switch to see if it is working fine in a circuit or not so for that what we have done is we have taken our battery holder, put the batteries in place, connected it to the bulb. The other end of the bulb is connected to the switch. So the two wires coming out of the switch, one is connected to one terminal of the battery and the other one is connected to a terminal of the bulb. So that's how we have connected the circuit. Right now the switch is off as you can see. It is broken, the circuit is broken, switch is off, the bulb doesn't glow. So let's see what happens as soon as we switch it on. So when we switch it on, the bulb glows. That's because the circuit now is completed. So this shows that the switch that we have made is working perfectly fine. Few important points with regards to this experiment. Erasers have been used due to the elasticity of erasers which allow them to fit tightly. Aluminium being a good conductor is used to wrap erasers. Rubber bands provide additional stability to the switch. The ruler acts as a stable platform. Please make sure that the bulb and the battery are in working condition before you go ahead with testing the circuit. Wow! So we created an electric switch and I'm sure that you would have enjoyed it. All I want you to do now is to create your own switch in your own innovative way. You can also make use of something like a nut and bolt to make the electric switch. Just make sure that you choose a material which is a good conductor of electricity. And do not forget to ask your parents to assist you when you try out new things. Do send us a picture of your switch to examfieldvideos at gmail.com. We would be more than glad to share your picture on our Facebook page. Last but not the least, do not forget to subscribe and tell your friends and family to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.